what's up we're back at it again with another video welcome or welcome back in today's video we have charlotte tovery in the house i have on deck her super nude collections face palette eyeshadow a lipstick and if you're ready to see what's up with all these goodies keep on watching two totally different eye looks even though i hate it i'll be doing it for you guys but before we continue with this video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us fam so go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it so let me show you really quick what this collection is bringing to us and i'm gonna start with the face palette i'm in a silent because this packaging is everything definitely one of her best i think that looks so pretty even though i do hate the sticker on the back hike i think that looks so tacky but who am i to judge right this is 75 dollars her regular price for her other face palettes and this is a nude makeup face palette with sculpting and glowing shades they are universally flattering blurring smoothing and illuminating shades it's supposed to be for everyone and for everywhere so it is basically like on the go face palette so we have the super glow it is a soft champagne gold highlighter and it's supposed to give you that wet shine texture we have the multi glow it is a multi-dimensional golden peach it is a satin finish and that blush is supposed to give you the healthy glow illusion the super sculpt is a rich amber with a cream to powder formula then last but not least we have sculpt it is a natural looking taupe to sculpt smoked and blurred the appearance of imperfections so this is hyper cream to powder formula it's gonna give you the glass skin finish it's more of a brightening glow gel silky feel soft focus finish finally male particles and it's supposed to be super lightweight let's find out This is not a new eyeshadow palette. She just bringing it back, and for some reason, she's throwing it in this collection. We all know how Charlotte Tilbury rolls. We're getting six shades with two easy to wear matte looks. We're getting three super cool caramel browns and three warm brown shades. Light as air, velvet mattes, finally milled, and they're blended with oils and waxes for a super emollient, buildable, and forgiving texture. I totally agree because they're so 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 creamy. Then last but not least, we have five different lipstick, $34 for each in the Matte Revolution formula and also in her kissing. She does have some of the best matte and satin lipsticks, that's for sure. I only picked up one out of the five, don't even ask me why. I'm definitely gonna order some more because the bomb, they're fire. I love her lipsticks. And the shade that I picked up, it is Cover Star. It's so pretty. I'm so feeling it. Of course, I have it on my lips. I already tried all these products. I'm about to show you what happened and the whole process of me applying it on my face. But this is a light, warm, apricot lipstick in the Matte Revolution formula. Let's pass to the application for this video. And I am gonna be showing you guys how the face palette looks on a completely bare face. I do have many of you guys that have been telling me that you guys don't really like to wear foundation. And that's the reason why when it comes to complexion products, bronzer, blush, and all that, I like to show you guys sometimes how it looks on a bare face. And then like that, you guys, don't have to wear foundations but you know it's always good to have a little bit of contour and a little bit of definition let's go keep telling you guys about this pimple right here what i'm noticing that the shit is getting worse i'm gonna get it injected tomorrow i'm a dermatologist mm -mm. i am not having that on my face I told you guys that a good complexion face palette looks good with or without makeup have that in mind i have right here two sculpt contour defined shades this one is darker than this one and i'm gonna start with my Ida brush from nars with the lighter shade and we're gonna start by contouring the face the soft shade it's leaning more cool tone more towards the grays okay so i only picked up a little bit and it is showing on my skin complexion normally Everything is going to show more on top of foundation because you have one solid 
texture but that looks pretty that is showing I like that I have the perfect amount of gray to give you the nice contour shadow now I'm gonna dig in the darkest shade I love this brush I have a special love for this brush I mean this formula it's like the gel powder formulation and it always gonna be a little harder to pick up than the regular powder formula but I like it it's not too warm and not too orange and not too red and I got the perfect undertone now with my cheek pro from Sonia G I'm gonna go into the blush and this is glowy so you have to make sure you like glowy blushes if not this is not gonna be for you okay so the first little bit that I picked up it didn't give me that much but when I went in twice with my brush I do see it right there it is a shiny it's glowy I see some gold particles of like shimmer in there it's not glitter and the shimmer it is very fine really thin it's not intensifying my texture or nothing at all I do see a little bit of lifting comparing it to this side and it's giving me that nice healthy glow I'm happy effect I like it and a lot without makeup you can also wet your brush and use this formula wet. That's gonna give you more pigmentation, it's gonna get more intense, it's gonna get brighter, you're gonna be able to blind motherfuckers, stop traffic, by just wetting your brush. This is a Jacqueline Hill brush. It picks a lot, by the way. And I see it a little bit right there, but it's not my cup of tea. I like my highlighter more intense. So let me go in one more time with my brush dry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I see it now. Let me wet my brush a little bit with my hourglass setting spray. Oh yes. Oh shit, that got really intense. So you really quick how pretty it looks with our makeup on bare skin and look at the glow so this is what it is this is how it's looking with our makeup let me go apply my foundation concealer all that and i'll be back okay we're looking pale as a ghost and <laughs> let's do this with the same Ida brush from nars this brush is bomb.com if you like your contour like really really snatch you see you just have to make sure you go in there and get a good amount in your brush because it's not easy to pick up this type of formula it's good for beginners or for heavy handers because there's no room for fuck ups you're not gonna be picking up too much formula or none of that without it and with the soft contour shade is the perfect contour shade i love the shadow let me go in with the all over bronzer see how pretty the darker shade automatically warms up the face nice let me apply some blushy blush same a brush And then now let's apply some of the highlighter. Even though I like a really intense highlighter, this specific highlighter, I like it more dry. I normally like to do my own thing when it comes to Charlotte's Overy's palettes. I think it's like a challenge that we have going on because she likes to come up with her rules and looks. I like to do my own thing, but I'm gonna be creating the two looks that we have in this palette so I can show you like that you're gonna be able to see how easy they are to create and then if you like the two looks then of course you like this palette 
we're gonna be grabbing a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the first prime shade and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid with my ref 02 I'm gonna be grabbing the exhaled shade and I'm gonna start from the inner part of my eye and I'm gonna apply it on my whole entire leg. I'm gonna go back with my ref at 201 and I'm just gonna make sure I blend the edges. And then now with my classic crease from Sonia G, a regular blending brush, I'm gonna be grabbing the smoke shade, which is the darker shade out of the three, and I'm gonna apply it right here on my outer V. With my flat defender from Sonia G, I'm gonna be grabbing the smoke shade and I'm gonna apply it on my lower lash. So now for the inner corner, we only have one shade which is this one that you can use for both of the looks for the tear duct. If not, grab your favorite highlighter, pop it in the inner corner, and you're done. But I'm gonna be using this one just because we're pretending that we're out, we don't have the spotlight, and we create a look. Yes, we can. Now for the second look, we're gonna be using my BK Beauty 201. And I'm gonna grab the prime shade, which is this one. I'm gonna prime my whole entire lid, the same way we did with the first look. With the same Ref 02 brush, I cleaned it already. I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna go with the exhaled shade. Wow, the shadows are really, really creamy. And I'm gonna apply it on my whole entire lid. Blending brush, I'm gonna be grabbing this black. That black looks yummy. I'm so surprised with how creamy the shadows are. It's easy to work with, easy to apply. Look at that. And it blends really, really, really nice. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the black and I'm gonna pack it right here on my RV and I'm gonna let it sit there. My BK Beauty 204, I'm gonna grab some of the black and I'm gonna be creating a wing. If you wanna get an intense black out of this black, you do need to build it up. With my flat defender from Sonia G, I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of the black for my lower lash, just to give the eye a little bit more depth. And of course, I applied a little bit of my Natasha Denona crayons and liners and I just dropped the top for the inner corner in this eye look I want something more white more silvery so I'm gonna be using this shimmer from Jacqueline Hills on the shade extra for my inner corner and then now here we have a cover star this is nice look at that this is gonna make your lips look more powdery Mm. Yes. It looks almost the same color of my shirt. Mm, I like it. All right, babe. So we're done with the application part of this video. Here you have the nighttime look, the daytime look, and lipstick, bronzer, balash, a highlighter, and I like it. I'm liking both of the looks. What I like the most is this shade of lipstick. I love lipsticks like this because trust me when I tell you that they're gonna make your lips look powdery, juicy, and bigger. When it comes to the face palette, the packaging is stunning once again. So this is a cute sheer set face palette that to be honest with you, it looks cute with or without makeup. So that's a plus. This is great for on the go, perfect for traveling because we're getting everything right here. This is like me right now. I have a regular shirt. I feel like I'm chilling. I'm not really all dressed the fuck up right now. And this will be a palette that I would grab for those type of days. When I want a little bit of color with a little bit of glow and be out the door. I do want you guys to have that in mind. And I don't know, like I just like more with less struggle like i like my contour to be really intense and my bronzer i like to look like a summer goddess and i found myself struggling to get that color payoff like i had to keep going and keep going to get a little bit of color i just wish that they were more pigmented 
let me swatch them really quick for you so you can see them and my bigger problem with the shades is that this is not going to show on darker complexion than mine I had a struggle a little bit to get what I have right now which in my opinion I like more and that's a big deal to me like I really hate and I think it's so whack when brands be coming out with universal shades that they're supposed to be for everybody but they really don't be showing up on every skin complexion i love the formula though like that gel powder formula because there's no messes there's no fallout so i do appreciate that if you're looking for something chat latovery i do really recommend you her regular matte bronzer she also has some stunning ass highlighter and blushes she have a plenty so this is beautiful but it's definitely not a must have so don't let the fomo get to you this is a cute ass palette it's perfect for on the go for work if you're always in a rush and this is your vibe you love browns and black i do really recommend you this mini palette because the formulation it is on point super creamy and i do find this a type of formula perfect for mature eyelids it doesn't crease it doesn't settle in fine lines oh, this is so pretty let me swatch one for you guys so you can see like to the touch i don't think you guys understand how creamy this is look at that look at that finish Look, this is a type of shadow that you can keep going and you can keep going and you're gonna get that pigmentation to the fullest. And the lipstick, I don't think I need to tell you nothing about the lipstick. You already know how I feel about the lipstick. This is stunning, beautiful. Like, even though it's light with a darker lip liner, mm, yummy. I mean, I love that the eye looks, they're simple. You know, they don't have nothing really like wow, extravagant about them. But they were so so quick and easy to gray like you apply three shades and you're done you have a whole eye look all right babe so we made it to the end of the video and let me know what do you think about these goodies what do you think about the face palette do you feel me do you feel the same way i feel if you like the whole subtle sheer you know type of vibe but let me know in the comment section what do you think what do you like more do you have these goodies? Are you planning on picking them up? Again, for another great video. I love you all so damn much to the moon and back. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever. So go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I love new videos. Mwah! See you on the next one.